Start. 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 Welcome gamers to our twisted reality. Die! 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 Joystick! The Joystick Show! Hello gamers! Welcome to the Joystick Show! Welcome back Rumble Pack! We are back at it here once a month bringing you some updated information and some banter and rambling ons. Me and my son, we are a father and son combo. We go by our gamer tags, and I am Bogue Spear. I'm Thing 12. Boy, you didn't even let me finish. finish. You just jumped right in. I said, Bogue Spear, I'm Thing 12. Yeah. You had to give a little separation there, right? Sorry, I will, yeah. Right? All right, you're just excited to get to all this content, right? Yeah, but... Yeah. All right, let's get it. Um, you want to be a part of the show? Uh, please tell them how to do so. Uh, you can be a part of it at joystick underscore show on Twitter, joystickshow at gmail.com, or joystickshow.com, our website. And then we also have a Discord at joystick space show. There you go. All right, so let's get jumped right into my butt. Before we do, thank you. We got our salesperson dropped off. We're back at it, making mm. money off of our uh, sponsors, right? And this week's sponsor is Grinder Gum. The gum for the player that pulls the 48-hour gaming marathons. Grinder gum has tons of amino acids, riboflavin, calcium, magnesium, ginkgo globa, ashwagandha, and veggie plant extract to make it taste like beep. But it is a meal in itself and will allow you to play on without missing a meal. Grinder gum. Buy the 12 stick for $49.99 at grindergum.info. Promo code joystick for 10% off. Grinder gum. Mm. Oh, yeah, I bet that tastes good, huh? Whole bunch of goodness right there. Mm. Blowing a bubble on that. Just that big old green thing coming out of your mouth. Woo! Thank you there, sponsor Grinder Gum. All right, let's hit it. Let's go to the gaming front. What are we playing, babe? Uh, what are you playing? What do you mean? Oh, uh, okay, so I don't want to be opposed. I got to jump in and, and talk, talk about something a little bit. But uh, World of Warships is what I'm at right now. I'm in it to win it and across the board. So here's the thing. I uh, was doing some research, having some stuff going on, and I said, let me take a look. I go on, and what do I see right away? Just recently released is submarines added to it. Now, I've played uh, uh, World of uh, Tanks, right? I've played of, uh, I've tried World of Warships, uh, or not World of Warships, uh, Airplanes, and a few others, and they're good games. I mean, I started, I think, Tanks back when they first came out on Xbox. I think mm -hmm. it was like 2000. Boy, I'm now I'm I gotta go back and look. I think it was 2010, maybe, 2012, something like that. Great game, awesome, right? As it goes through, but it's free yeah. to play, right? It's free, well, 90 free. But yeah, you have to pay for you, everything you want. You, that's right. But here's the nice thing: you don't have to. You can also grind it out, mm -hmm. right, to do it as well. But the cool thing about the the um, warships is that you, you got to think of it this way: you do get the uh, the variety of really authentic, uh, you know, historical ships, which is awesome. But you remember, when you're doing, dealing with that, you deal with air, too, because you have planes and carriers. Mm -hmm. So you deal with planes, you deal with ships, and now you deal with subs. So you have this whole kind of immersive uh, environment, which is way cooler, right? Can you be you a sub? You can be a sub? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a lot of cool things going on. So anyways, um, just been doing a lot of uh, solo time, playing it, and doing some uh, research and prep and stuff, too. And it is fabulous. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. I've been uh, doing it. Of course, I had to buy. I already did drop some cash, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, I bought the Texas, USS Texas. I had to buy it. It's awesome. It's a, it's a battleship, and it just crushes it. So I've been doing that, playing that. Hmm. So what have you been playing? Um. Well, between... Um... Apex, I've been playing a lot of that, but the main thing is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Okay. Which, um, I, it went on sale for not, it wasn't too much less, but the Call of Duty games never go on sale, so right. I figured it was time to grab it, because I really like the Black Ops 3 zombies. Yeah. So I got it, um, on Steam, and I played it, because if you get it on Steam, you can download custom zombies maps that people, oh, wow. that the community has made. Oh, so really? They, they really got, like, cool... a Forge version of that on there? Yeah, well, it's you actually have to code it. Like, it's a lot. It's not oh, like it's, a... it's not just, like, yeah. a play, play. No, it's okay. not, like, something they implemented. It's like, drop the wall here. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they... But I've been playing them, and they're really fun. Uh, I have a friend that also has it, so we go twos on zombies. Right. Which... Does yeah. it have my tattoo in it? Well, I don't have my tattoo yet, but I will. What so. tattoo? 
the monkey bomb. Oh. I gotta have a monkey bomb. I'm gonna have that monkey bomb tattoo put pretty right sure on the Pretty sure it does have the monkey bomb, yeah. It does? I'm That's pretty my sure. favorite thing ever. I yeah. love that. But, um, but yeah, I, I think Black Ops 3 is the best out of all the zombies. Because it implements a lot of different things. Like, there's gobble gum. It's yeah. like, um, that you pop in. You Not played it. gum? No, but you played, um, yeah, zombies. Two. You were talking about it. Yeah, yeah, two. Oh, that was Black Ops 2? Two. two. So I don't know. Black Ops I'm... 3 has, like, a uh, chewing gum that you throw into your oh, mouth. I don't have, I've and seen it gives that. you all these different abilities. Oh, really? Uh huh. Well, these um, are soda pops. You have to go to the soda machine. Right. Well, no, they have, every game has that. Those oh. perks, like Juggernaut. Okay. Um, things like that. Every game has that, but this game takes it farther with the gobble gum that you can, like, um, like, makes it so when you get downed, or when you fully die, you yeah. keep your guns the next round. Awesome. Stuff like that. Oh, that's so, nice. That's cool. So, Black Ops 3 is a really fun um, experience for zombies. How much was that on sale? It was, like, 25 bucks, I think. Oh, okay. Um, is that off now, the sale for a mobile yeah, pack? They, it's already gone? They bring it... Yeah, it's, okay. it's already gone. And they bring it up to 60. They keep selling the wow. game for 60. Wow. It's been out for, like... Yeah. 10 years or whatever it is. So but. you're playing that, but Apex, I thought um, you said. Apex. I'm playing a lot of that because the new update came out. Um, I just think it's a, I, I, I just think it's a really fun game to play. Like, well, we got some news about as that, As far too. as how it's fair and everything, so. Yeah. 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 So it's interesting because I was talking to, um, um, what's it, what's his, uh, gamer tag? Danny O Train? I don't know. Something Danny Train. So, no, that's um, just making that up. Anyways, um, mm. guy who's grinding it out all the time, right? Plays this game, or plays a lot of different shooters. Was playing uh, War, War Fair, or um, what's the, oh, come on, the Call of Duty game. Mm -hmm. War, War Fair? What's the big one everybody's playing? Oh, Modern Warfare? Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Warzone. Warzone, thank you, right? Is that that's, what everybody's doing? That's Modern Warfare, yeah. Yeah, but, so anyways, uh, playing that forever, ever, ever, and all of a sudden he jumps into Apex and is playing it, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden realizes, oh, this game is just killer fun, mm -hmm. because there is so much more, you were saying it, right, last show, about the strategy on it, yeah. right? There's a lot more strategy. But I was talking to him, I said, I have a hard time with it because... Um, looking around. Did I talk about this in the last show where you look around corners? And I like doing that with like Rainbow Six, Siege, and I mean even Gears of War was doing that, right? Where you kind of peek around and everything. But yeah. Apex, you can't do that. But right? Apex, you, you're moving so well, fast. Well, that's what he had said. He goes, dude, if you have a moment where you have think you have time to peek around the corner, you're probably already dead. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So you constantly got to move, which I guess is just a different strategy. I don't know if I like it, but I think it's cool. Where well, it's what makes run. the game fair is that right. in most games, it's all aim you have your skill is based Good on point. the amount Good that you point. can aim yeah but in this game you could have the worst aim in the entire and game still win. and yeah. still be really good because you can move so well to right. dodge shots to do all this like yeah now you're doing this on pc though not yeah. console right? pc yeah yeah so there's two there's two different like i guess strategies to the game it's movement and aiming yeah and then there's a third is like the ranked gameplay where you use your abilities the right way yeah um and like combine them with like your other two players to make them work better yeah. so i i think there's just a lot more to the game than just like where warzone will just you run around and you shoot and you if you have the best loadout yeah which is then you win yeah you win you yeah. like you build your loadout. which yeah it's a good point actually i just mentioned i was playing uh um world of uh, uh worship that was on pc too i'm not playing it on console right yeah now. even though i got the xbox series x i should go try it on that and see how it, it might look really good because it is beautiful on uh pc of course yeah. i have a good card too but yeah. It's amazing the the depth of it and stuff, but yeah. So at Apex, so you're playing that. That's a that's kind of that cartoon fun. I mean, it's got a it's got a pretty pretty uh, look to it too, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. So, all right. So, anything else playing, or is that it? That's it. Okay, let's hit the news. The joystick news report. Joystick news. All right. So let's talk in the news. So first of all, what came up is we wait. I know there's some uh, ba uh, some play going out there on Halo Infinite, right? Um, their chest like testers and stuff like that yeah. are going through it. But a huge news came up that if you remember, there were some of the original Halos. They had what's called assassinations. What's well, you know it from like. Um, uh, combat, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Mortal Combat, right? And you do the final blow and you do the, the mm -hmm. crazy... Well, Halo had kind of that smaller version where you run up behind somebody, grab them, do like a cut scene or something like yeah. that, right? Well, they uh, they take it out. They've eliminated it all together. So I don't know if that's a big deal or not. temporarily. Well, they say temporarily, but I, I think they, they tried it and they say that it's it causes a... Uh, um, I guess uncompetitive advantage to those that don't do that because when you do that, I guess you stop in the game. I don't know if you stop in the game or something happens. So if you're trying to be competitive, it kind of gets in the way of that. Does that make sense? Rather than just um, run up and booming and taking so off, running. And what what causes a, a, a 
coming up behind somebody. Doing that that. Is coming yeah. up behind. So yeah. when they're coming up behind, maybe they just want to punch them. Yeah, or do something where it doesn't go into a cutscene or something like that. So I guess they're removing it completely, which mm. I thought. I don't I guess, think that's. I guess for like the competitive play, but are you building this game for a competitive play? No, or are you that's not good for... at all. I thought, I thought the way they had it in Halo Five was that um, you or in the other Halo games, I forget exactly, but you cl you hold the melee button, and if you if you click the melee button, you just right. melee in the back, but if you hold it, you do the assassination. Well, that still might be the case. That's but I think what I they're the but they're removing it all together. I don't know if it's because in then case all of a sudden you slip no, and that's don't not, do that. That wouldn't be um, the reason. It was, yeah, 343 um, Industries, right, who's do, doing that, confirmed that they uh, uh, they will not be able... Uh, First-person shooter live stream is said... Uh, what does it say here? Um, but despite the team's 3431 really loving assassinations, they've been removed because of the, quote, gameplay disadvantage to pulling one off. So no, I think they just need to use the mechanic of holding assassination, right? Clicking is, I don't know. So we'll see. But I, when that news came up, I was like, that's interesting because that kind of converts the game, right? Or you know, yeah. changes it up a little bit. But here's the question: Do you build a game for competitive play, or do you build a game for uh, masses enjoyment? For right? masses enjoyment. When it's Halo, yeah, you build it for previous halo fans yeah well because it was so huge i mean that's the question mark you have to look at because obviously competitive play is what keeps it going i mean all the battle royales are nothing but competitive play no storylines yeah. no nothing and those are ones that are making it right now so i think a lot of people are starting yeah. to turn to that more right unfortunately so if you want a story game go buy something else i don't know yeah but we'll see i mean why you can't build it in together of course that's a lot more coding and a lot more game um to do but um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. So that's in the news. What else is in the news? Um, what else? We Cyberpunk see? is continuing to try and fix its bugs. Oh my gosh, really? We're gonna keep talking about that? Yeah. I thought they, I thought they killed that whole project. Is it still out there? I know there, uh, there was a lot going yeah. on, lawsuits, everything else. Um, Cyberpunk twenty uh, seventy seven. Yeah, there's like a mini map or something, right? They fixed that big thing. I heard. That's uh, the big news. Is that? I, but the interesting thing, I think you and I spoke about this before. Is like they were modding the heck out of this game. Like anybody that was a real uh, doing a good job at coding went in themselves and fixed a lot of the bugs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you talk about somebody that's a, a fanboy of a game that goes in and says, well, "Here, I'll fix it for myself and play it." Mm -hmm. I don't know how many hours that is to do that, but. Um, so yeah, so I know there's a lot of already called like mini mod mods or mini map mods or something like that they were calling it, but I guess they went in under, I guess it's 1.3 is the update. So if you are a player, a player of, uh, 2077, mm. um, it should, but everything things should be fixed, uh, by its title name, right? By 2077, everything should be set. Yeah. yeah hopefully. For the game. Yeah. Good stuff. So that's, uh, what's going on there. What else, um, did we see? Oh, here's a question I have for you. This is a, a quick conversation. Um, bunch of uh, players are playing Metal Gear Solid, which is an old school game, right? Mm -hmm. And they discovered a rare death animation over uh, two decades later. So there was an Easter egg or something built into the game, right? Mm -hmm. But what, how they found it is they do, um, what do they call themselves? They're called uh, runners? Or they're, they're, uh, it's uh, players that do nothing but try to run through a game as fast as possible. Speedrunners? Speedrunners, right? Yeah. Is that what they're calling them? Yeah. Okay. So I want to talk about that in the gaming world. Is that a thing? Is that like parkour for gaming? <laughs> sort of. Yeah, any game that has a story or has an end, right? people will speedrun. Speedrun. And that's like a thing. Yeah. And it's actually not even if a game has an end. It's more of, um, it's more of like there's different categories and you try and speedrun it. Yeah. So like in a game, in a um, a roguelike game that doesn't have an end, right? That you go off um, to like, you basically just build your see character. how long you can survive. Yeah. The speed running would be like, um, the time it takes you to um, defeat this person, or gotcha. the time it takes you to get this ability. Oh, okay. So um, they're all based on time. And there's categories. Yeah. So like, and there's like Minecraft. Minecraft is really big on speed running. Yeah. And it's like there's normal speed run is from spawning in to killing the ender dragon yeah which i think the world record right now is like sub 20 minutes i think 20 minutes mm -hmm. oh my god that's crazy um and <laughs> so it's funny that you know all this this is how we do this show this generational difference because yeah. this is probably a thing but us older dudes are, don't play it speed is a big thing right is now. it yeah. yeah of course it is because like, i know nothing about it and i do a, a video game show they'll be no i know some of it but. like there'll be a game that's like super it was like made by one developer or something it's a really it's not a, that big of a game it looks like it's 
Oh, the speed see. running. I've seen it where they run and jump over like they're in like a um, uh, like a Egypt looking place or something. Well, I don't know the specific game. Oh. I'm just saying there yeah. are games in general right, that's that you original, can see I the think. polygons. Yeah, and they're like. And basically, they find glitches and things to speedrun them faster. Yes. Well, that's um, what this was. I guess they found a, the, when they found this um, workaround, mm -hmm. it actually speeds up the, the the way to get through the game faster too. Huh. So now everybody's going to look for that egg or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a weird uh, situation, but but when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, speedrunning. That was a, that's a thing. Because I remember they were doing it in um, what was that game that I saw a lot of it. Well, it was um, Titanfall too. Oh yeah. Right? Wasn't that the time they did a lot of that running I would through speedrunning? Imagine, running? yeah. yeah. Most games have speedrunning communities that like speedrunning communities. That they will that they will speedrun, yeah. Oh such a heartwarming community. It's cool though. Is it? Yeah, yeah, they're fun. I bet I bet so. That's cool. So yeah, anyways, that was in um, uh, Metal Gear Solid, they said they found one. Um, and that's hmm. an old school game too. So they're all going back to the old school games and doing it, which I think is very cool though. Especially probably get a chance to see a uh, younger generation check out some of the older games, right? Mm -hmm. If not for, you know, making fun of its graphics, but more so of seeing the whole environment because they had to run through it at mm -hmm. lights, lightning speed. You yeah. Know? Maybe not experiencing the game like we did, but mm -hmm. experiencing anyway. So cool. Good stuff. All right. Um, and then uh, speaking of Apex, did you see um, there is um, a dude that. Uh, uh, did a what was it 52 hour marathon how long have you played straight 54 hour marathon mm. what's the longest you've played that straight you think maybe like 12 hours 12 hours yeah. i'm gonna say like four or five. Oh, that's it yeah okay well you're lightweight then i thought you could wait farther than that no oh, okay so you're not wasting your entire Maybe life game. Is that what you're saying to your father? Yeah. No. Um, all right. So this guy, 54 hours straight. His name, got to give him credit. It's like uh, Timmy T. Bag. Oh, it's uh, T's, T's Timmy. So lo lo two lowercase I's, uppercase T, lowercase Z, uppercase T, I-M-M-Y. So you want to friend him if you're an Apex lover. Mm. Give him some love. 54 hours he went through it and got to uh, what's it called Apex Predator rank. That was his goal. Oh, was that so, a speedrun or just saying how long he played? Oh, I don't know if it was speedrun. So I guess or not. he went from Apex well, guess, Predators like I the guess it'd be somewhat speedrunning just to get to it in 54 hours, right? It's, to be a predator. Yeah. So it's, it's the highest ranking in the game, and it's top 750 players in the world. Yeah. So he's he was already good. It, that guy, I'm pretty sure, like as a pro player. Okay. Yeah. So he's already good, but I guess he started from the worst rank. Right. And in 54 hours, climbed up to. The, Predator. That's cool. Very that's cool. cool. Yeah. Good for him, man. Giving him some love. So if you're going to do it, man, that's that's in it to win it. That's going for it, right? Yep. That's, I don't know if that's a shot of him or not there, but pretty sweet. So good for him. All right. Anything else? I think that's, that's it. That's uh, the, news. the news. Okay. That's the news. This concludes your joystick news report. Joystick news. All right. So uh, do we have anything for the riff rap? I didn't really see much. Do you have anything going on with uh, Riff Rap? No, no. Um, I didn't sure. notice that. I, I got bad news on it. I went on to uh, <laughs> Bridge Cookies. I told you, every now and then I go in to check and see if they yeah. do any downloadable content. Not only do they not uh, continue to look to release new content for this game, but now I see a bunch of people saying the game's broke. Like, they haven't even updated and fixed it to keep it, like... Updated or something? I don't know. I gotta go back in and try it, because I tried to launch and then I had to... Um, uh, get called out for something else so I actually never did but I just happen to remember as we get uh, set up for the show thinking about um, the uh, VR and I was like man if that game is broken I can't play it just as it is because I want to go back and just you know play the original ones again because yeah. I played them three times and I keep begging for more like a Klingon download yeah. release so I can do a D7 or uh, you know a Warbird Fly one of those big yes ships or yeah like, like Warbird or battleships do a battleship mm. um, uh, DLO my gosh, would that be awesome. Um, so anyways, that's what um, they should be doing. But I tell you what, I'll go in and find, see if I can get the uh, license for it. Just take it over. Get some coders. Get it going. Mm. Probably not. Probably not. Let me add it to my list of things. No. Mm. Um, all right. So that's uh, Riff Rap. What else do we got? Oh, it's time for the deal of the week. Did you correct this? Does it still say week of the week? Because we do this monthly now, not weekly. Oh, uh, we'll keep it. Too, oh, right? okay. So it's it's more for nostalgia. See? Look at you getting older like your old pop there. You have some nostalgia built into the show Or now. maybe just I'm too lazy to change it to month. <laughs> it might be that, too. What is it? Because I'm too lazy to change it to month. <laughs> it's, it's deal of the month. Yeah. 
Yeah, actually, no. Of... When you first started, it was deal of the week. Now it's deal of the month. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Good stuff, buddy. All right. So what do we have? Um, I don't know if it's so much a deal, but did you see controllers? Like, there's like this um, new wave of like controller builders. Maybe because there's more and more competitive play or people doing, you know, more competitive. But have you ever heard of a company called Scuf? Is it S C U F? Yeah. You familiar with them? Scuf controllers. Yeah. They've been. I think they started going like popular when Fortnite was. Is that like, what it was? was okay. Well, they just released the Instinct and Instinct Pro for the uh, Xbox uh, Series X. And it's pretty sweet looking. Now I have that other controller, right? The big one that um, what's it called? And it's the Xbox Elite controller. Elite two, Elite two, uh -huh. not the one, the two, right? Which yeah. I love. But this one, I don't know if it has similar triggers like that one does or what have you. But it came out. But it's also its price point is at 170 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I don't know they're, if it's a deal, but it's they're good. Um, they are good controller. It's a good controller company. Like, it is. It's a well-known one. Right. It's well, like they're not, I, they're the not a paid sponsor, but I just saw the that the reason it was... it's $170 is because it is also has to do with the brand. Yeah. Like I bet you that controller is more worth like 120. Yeah. But it's the it's the fact that Scuff is really like got a name for itself. Yeah. yeah. Good for them. All right. So that's that. And then you know what's the cool thing I do want to bring up is that um, I saw that uh, is it uh, Hori Hori H O R I Flex. Um, assistive controllers. So there is people still coming up with those controllers for people that are either visually impaired, you know, uh, having handicaps, mm, and that type Microsoft of things. Microsoft came out with one of those. Right, a while back, right? Well, they just said that they just released it for the Switch, too, which I think is very cool because the Switch is something that I think is very uh, a personable thing, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And to have somebody that can play it um, do what have you, but also have the type of controller that allows them to play on mm. it. You know what I mean? With bigger buttons, obviously, because if they have a hard time with the little buttons mm. or the little controllers, and then there's like big old slap buttons in the middle mm -hmm. and a lot of cool things. But it was designed, um, uh, I thought, um, very well and at least puts them in a position where they can play. And a lot of people are just saying, you know, as always, a lot of the uh, gamers that are going online for competitive or, or Switch competitive, I don't know how competitive Switch games are, mm -hmm. but they're using it too because they get more uh, traction, action, and easier use of it too. So I guess it has unbelievable response too, which mm -hmm. is a big key to that, right? Uh, the price point on it though, I think it's like 265 bucks or something like that, give or take. So it's not a cheap controller. I mean, it's a big honk, and it's kind of a honking thing. It takes up room, mm -hmm. so it kind of de de uh, defeats the switch, switch. mobility. Yeah. But again, if it's all set up, you know, especially if you wheelchair or have something stable or something like that, it would be a cool, a cool piece to add. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it's called the <clears throat> co-piloting on the Nintendo Switch with the uh, Flex controller, um, and I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, H O R I Flex Hori Flex controller. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening with that. Okay, lastly, uh, it's time uh, let's take a look at some new releases, shall we? Um, I'm first of all, I'm excited as heck at the end of this month uh, coming up actually, and I might have to buy it because it probably won't be on Game Pass and it probably won't be something cheap on Steam, but I'm gonna look for it. Aliens Fire Team Elite, baby, because I love. I bought Predator, played that. That was fun. Wasn't quite the um, UI that I was hoping for, but it was fun. Right? This game looks like it has the uh, 4K look and the maximizing the graphics on uh, the Xbox 360, hmm. or 360, hello, Xbox uh, Series X, and uh, it looks fantastic. And now it looks like it's a first person shooter for aliens and taking them out. It's probably cool. I'm hoping it has proximity um, shots too. It's like, so if you shoot somebody and the acid comes out, uh -huh. it sprays on you, you do damage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That would be awesome. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I gotta go check out. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Hopefully, I feel like a game like that would work better than the Predator did. But yeah, yeah. Even though the Predator was awesome, I liked how you could go into stealth mode and see it. You know. <laughs> but wasn't the Predator very like one-sided? Like it was, it was really it was a lot easier for one side to win than the other. Yeah, I mean, if you're the Predator, know how to play. Mm -hmm. You know. But then again, that was kind of it. Unless you're under the Schwarzenegger, right? You, mm -hmm. you, you, you're gonna die mm -hmm. to the Predator. So. Yeah, I never played it, though. I think I would have liked it. Yeah, it's on, uh, I got it on uh, Steam. You can actually download it and see it. It came off of, I think it's Epic's. Um, was it yeah, there? Yeah, on Epic Games. Yeah, Epic Game. Oh. I think so, yeah. So take a look at it. Um, anything else coming out? Uh, King's Bounty uh, 2 is coming out. Um, somebody may know that. Uh, folks, PS4, PS5 players, Ghost of uh, Tsushima is the director's cut mm. of that. 
Um, what else do we have here? No More Heroes 3 for Nintendo Switch. I don't know what Torment Souls is. It's out for every console and PC. Um, Baldo the Guardian Owls. Not looking good there. I don't see. So that's pretty much it. I think the main thing coming out, and without going into the heavy indie stuff, um, I think the big thing is uh, is that, oh, and of course, today I think it's released is, because uh, we're recording this on the 17th, is Madden NFL 22. Mm. I don't know what else they could possibly add to Madden, right, to keep it going outside of just updating. I mean, think about it. It's like the, they keep reselling the game every year. How about, you know, just downloadable content, right? Yeah. Every year, just download the new season and new players. Oh, no. We're going to we're gonna maximize that, boy. That's why I love the... It should be... A, a man should be free to play, right? Mm -hmm. And you update every player. You want this player? <laughs> you pay for it. You want this player? So you get your that teams you want. That would be a lot more expensive, Probably. though. Yeah. But... but I mean, you look at it and say, I don't need all the other garbage either on it. Well, not really. If you think about it, if you're spending 60 bucks a year every year, right, to do it, and if a player is like 99 cents or something, you know what I mean? Something, no, they would make a player like, like five bucks. No. Yeah, yeah. that's how, that's no. how, yeah, it's so, EA. It's oh, EA. EA. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> but it would be, it would be cool just to um, see that, that stuff. Huh. But, so yeah, Madden's coming out as well. So those are the big ones um, uh, that are there. Anything else cooking? I don't think so. That's it? All right. Good little... Sharp Chart Show, right? Yeah. Updating folks on what's happening. We'll be back at it again very, very soon. Um, how do they get a hold of us? Do they want to respond yes. or send us uh, comments or sarcastic remarks? You can do that through our Gmail, joystickshow at gmail.com, joystickshow.com, our website, our Twitter at joystick underscore show, or our Discord at joystick space show. Very good. All right, folks. Until next time. Game on. The joystick. The joystick show.